It's important to have a good connection. I have been having a time with my water truck. It's been spitting, sputtering, backfiring. Check the coil, replace the resistor, had a bad spark plug wire, replace that. Still, bad. Check the spark plugs, seemed like every one of them was fouled. Couldn't figure out what was going on. So, I pulled the cap. If you've never seen a distributor, this is a distributor. These are the spark plug wires. This is the cap, rotors on the inside. This connects to the cam. That's how you keep timing. There's a couple of uh, uh, little levers on either side. You turn those and inside is the rotor and you can see it spins. And the contact point here was okay, but this was corroded. And so it was not allowing any spark to go through from the coil down and through here into each spark plug wire. And so that's why they were fouling out as they weren't getting the power. The power's coming through, but if there's no contact, you got nothing. So the lesson I would kind of learn here as I look at this is, um, do I have a contact point? Am I really connected with the Lord? seems that today a lot of people take their relationship with the Lord kind of as a personal matter. Several years ago, this idea of a personal relationship with Jesus Christ really stuck. And uh, while it is important to be born again and to know him personally, what you're going to find in the word of God is that the Lord, he established his church. Now, before that, you see that he established the nation of Israel, that it might be his representative here on earth. Then when you get into Matthew, you begin to see that uh, he says later on in Matthew that he's going to take the keys from the kingdom from Israel and giving him to a nation bearing the fruit thereof. Now, who was that? That was his church. That was his church. He had told them too, and I, I find this rather interesting, is he told his church that he was going to give them the comforter and the comforter would lead them into all truth. Well, the title of the devotional is The Importance of Public Worship. But when you look at the church, time and time again, you see that the church is established to edify the body of Christ. And so the church is kind of like that rotor. The power comes through, the coil, being the Holy Spirit, comes through the church and it begins to empower each individual. And I think that today we have individuals that they may have had a bad experience in a church. And of course, you can do that. And so, therefore, they backed away. Well, if I were to buy some replacement components for this distributor that were just kind of some cheap knockoff stuff, um, I may have a bad experience with it. But what am I going to do? Am I going to throw out the entire distributor? How am I going to get fire to the cylinders? No, no, no. What I need is I need to find the genuine article. I need to find the real genuine parts to put in there put it together the way it was supposed to. When you look at our nation right now, I'm not sure what you see, but we're told we're in a post-Christian nation. Could it be because Christians have taken and set aside that which the Lord built? You know, in Ephesians 5, it says that husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. See, we just, we make it all about us. Christ died for me. But Paul makes it very clear to those in Ephesus that Christ died for the church. He built his church while he was here. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. What if we all got back to that simplicity of that local New Testament church that we see in the book of Acts and tapped into that power that they had. 
Could it be that we could move on down the road? That's exactly what I did with the water truck is I cleaned off that rotor, got a good connection, and I was able to haul 10,000 pounds of water on that old 1955 low cab forward. Now, that's quite a load. That is able to really move down the road. Could we kind of clean off maybe a little bit of pride? Could we get in contact again with the source of power? Lord said uh, he was going to leave that comforter with his church. And that comforter was going to empower them. There weren't individuals that received that power on the day of Pentecost. It was the church. Do you want to see that again? Let's get back to what God intended. And whether you have the old school distributor or you got this new fangled one, billet, aluminum, all that, even though it's electronic inside, it still has a rotor, still has contact point. I want to encourage you. Do a little bit of soul searching. Has your life been sputtering, backfiring? Get in contact with the power that the Lord intended. Find yourself in a local New Testament church that teaches the truth. Be edified. Be strengthened. And go back out. Fight the good fight. God bless you. Thank you.